Today I'm going to be walking through an elastic collision problem. This is one of the most challenging types of problems we have when we're trying to do energy and momentum conservation. Um, ball A has a mass of 4 kilograms, ball B has a mass of 2 kilograms, and in the beginning ball A is traveling 5 meters per second towards ball B. They're going to collide with each other and we want to know how fast they're each going to be going after that collision. We don't have to deal with friction or gravity or anything like that because they're just moving in a straight line and they're going to hit each other. So let's start by uh, recognizing that momentum has to be conserved in this interaction. Since it's an elastic collision, uh, momentum and kinetic energy are both going to be conserved. So I can even write out just from the beginning, initial momentum is equal to final momentum. And I can also write initial kinetic energy is equal to final kinetic energy. Let's start with momentum because that's kind of a simpler equation. Our initial momentum is going to be the sum of momentum at the beginning. I can always remember that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So I'll have the mass of this one times the velocity of this one. That's going to be 4 times 5 plus the mass of this one times the velocity of this one. Since it's not moving, that's just going to be equal to 0. The final velocity will be the mass of this one times whatever velocity of that one we have. So I'll go uh, 4 times VA. And it'll be the mass of this one times whatever velocity that one has. So I'll go 2 times VB. That gives me 20 is equal to 4 VA plus 2 VB. I have one equation and I have two unknowns, so I am going to have to go ahead and work with the kinetic energy over here. But first, I'll go ahead and solve for one of these. Let's solve for VB. Why not? 20 minus 4 VA is equal to 2 VB. Or VB is equal to 10 minus 2 VA. So we've kind of got VB, but it's in terms of other numbers that we don't know. So let's go ahead and work with our kinetic energy conservation equation. And remember that kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. So I'll have 1 half times the mass of this one times the velocity of this one. This is for initial. So initially, it's going to be 1 half times the mass 4 times v squared, that 5 squared, uh, plus the momentum of this one, which um, is just sitting there so it doesn't have any momentum. So I can just go to final momentum, and presumably at the end they'll both be moving, so I can go 1 half 4 times VA squared plus 1 half times 2 times VB squared. Okay, so let's start trying to solve this out a little bit. Uh, 1 half times 4 is 2, 2 times 25, so I got 50 on this side. 1 half times 4, so that's 2 VA squared plus VB squared. Um, right off, I can't really solve this, but I do know that VB is equal to 10 minus 2 VA, so I can plug that in. Um, I'm going to sub in 10 minus 2 VA. That gets squared. Okay, let's foil this out a little bit. Uh, 2VA squared plus, let's see, I'll go 100 minus 20 times, okay, 40VA plus 4VA squared. Okay, and putting this all together, 6VA squared minus 40VA plus 50 is equal to 0. Now I can use the quadratic formula or I can just plug it into solver or a graphing function on my calculator. Okay, it says 1.67 uh, meters per second. Awesome, and if we have VA, then I can easily solve for VB. 
So I go VB is equal to 10 minus 2VA. 10 minus 2 times 1.67. And that gives me 6.67. And I should box my answers. Okay. And uh, let's just take a quick moment to make sure what we're getting is logical. Um, if ball A has a bigger mass than ball B, we would expect it to keep going forward after uh, they hit each other. So it does make sense that both these velocities should be positive, just like this initial velocity here. Um, also, you would expect this one to have a bigger velocity at the end than this one because it's smaller. So. Our answer does make sense logically. Let me know if you have questions on this problem and I hope this is helpful.